Good day! Hello mga labs! So, welcome back sa aking YouTube channel. And bago ako mag-start ng aking panibagong video lesson, please naman, pakilike and subscribe naman ng aking YouTube channel. And i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa aking mga bagong video lesson. So, ito ay tungkol sa mga mathematics lessons, especially grade 9 lessons. Mas pinadali, mas pinaikli, at mas naiintindihan. Okay? So, kahapon, ang lesson natin ay tungkol sa properties ng mga special parallelograms. So, ano-ano ba yung mga special parallelograms? We have the rectangle, the rhombus, and na at nung square. So, in-enumerate natin yung kanilang mga properties using yung table na pinakita ko sa inyo kahapon. Kung hindi ka nakaka-relate sa sinasabi ko sa lesson natin, ilalagay ko sa description box yung link ng ating video kahapon. And, bisitahin mo na din yung video na yun at panoorin. Okay, so ngayon, application tayo ng mga na-discuss natin tungkol sa properties ng special parallelograms. So, sa ibibigay kong example dito, meron ng isang case na may isang case na ako na ibibigay tapos iba-iba yung uh, special parallelogram na gagamitin natin. So, let's proceed. So, given parallelogram FASC, we need to answer the following. So, ito yung ating parallelogram FASC. So, hindi pa natin alam kung anong klase ng parallelogram to. So, yung mga may three questions lang tayo dito. Okay po. So, again, we have parallelogram FASC. So, meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng pag-name ng ating parallelogram or ng iba't ibang figures. Uh, pwede kayong mag-start dito ng F. Ayan, kung depende kung sa inyo gusto. Basta sunod-sunod siya. Okay, consecutive siya. F, A, S, tas dito yung S, dito yung T. Basta sunod-sunod siya, hindi pwedeng labo-labo na F dyan, A dito, S, or T. Kailangan sunod-sunod siya. Okay? So, let's have the three questions. Number one, if FAST is a rectangle, then AS or side AS is equal to 2X minus 5, and side FT is equal to 17. First question, find the value of X. Number two, if FAST is a rhombus, and the measure of angle 1 is 42 degrees, find the measure of angle 2. Number three, last question. If FAST is a square, then FS is equal to 3x minus 4 and AT is equal to 11. Find the value of x. So, let's have, let us have the first question. So, if the parallelogram FAST is a rectangle, then AX is equal to 2x minus 5 and FT is equal to 7. Find the value of x. So, yung ating uh, case, ang nauna, si FAST is a parallelogram. And then, nag-name siya na if AFST, which is a parallelogram, is a rectangle, then AS, oh, kung makikita natin yung AS dito is side, so side AS ang given at saka side FT. Okay? Now, balikan natin yung property ng rectangle in terms na sa side niya. So, ang side ng rectangle, um, meron siyang two opposite sides na congruent. So, since ang given dito ay AS, this is your AS, side AS, and FT, this is your side FT, ayan, opposite sila, remember na, pinag-uusapan natin ay rectangle, ha? Rectangle. Since ang AS at FT ay opposite sides, and ang opposite sides ng rectangle ay congruent, Therefore, side AS is congruent to side FT. Then, if that's the case, we can now therefore conclude na ang relationship nila ay congruent at ang ating equation na gagamitin ay will be side AS is congruent to side FT because opposite sides of rectangle are congruent. And then, yung congruent natin as, um, as we move on sa ating solution, magiging equal sign na lang yan become uh, equals equal sign and then yung AS at saka yung FT palitan na, na, palitan na natin yung given value nila so yung AS natin is 2x minus 5 eto yon at ang FT natin ay 17 so ito siya and then yung congruent sign natin naging equal sign na siya 
Tapos, combine similar terms na natin. We have 2x is equal to 17. Your minus 5, ililipat sa kabila magiging plus 5. Okay, 2x ay nasa left side para ma-isolate natin yung variable x. Then, 17 plus 5 is 22. And then, to get the value of x, we need to divide both sides by 2. Okay, to get rid of the numerical coefficient. So, we have 22 divided by 2. x is equal to 11. So, nakuha na natin yung sagot natin that the value of x is 11. Okay? Now, etong value ng x na to, pwede natin ma-identify kung ano yung measurement ng side AS at saka ng side FT. Okay? So, ang hinihingi lang dito value ng x ha. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo kung ano ang measurement ng side AS at saka ng side FT. So, it will become now, side AS is 2x minus 5. So, ayan siya. Substitute mo lang yung value ng x na nakuha natin dito sa ating original given measurement ng AS, which is 2x minus 5. So, this will become 2 times 11 minus 5. 2 times 11 is 22. Minus 5, the measure of side AS is 17. Okay? Now, oh, ayun naman, given naman na siya FT 17. Kahit hindi na natin siya i-compute. Kaya lang, we need to find the value of X kasi. Since the side AS is congruent to side FT, and AS is 17, therefore, your side FT is also 17 as um, nasa given na din siya. Okay? So, ganyan po siya. Okay? Next natin, number 2. Next, if FAST naman ay rhombus and the measure of angle 1 is 42 degrees, find the measure of angle 2. So, yung nasa given natin na parallelogram, meron siyang diagonal. Okay? So, we have diagonal FS and diagonal AT. Pero, ang hinihingi dito ay angle 1, which is ito, at saka, ah, I mean, ang hinihingi dito ay si angle 2. So, ang angles natin ay um, dinidivide siya nung diagonal fx. So, yung angle 1 mo, itong part lang na to, ayan, ito lang, and then yung angle 2 mo naman is itong part na to. Okay po. So, recall naman natin ngayon yung property ng rhombus pagdating sa angle measurement niya. So, sa rhombus, ang angles niya, opposite angles are congruent. Since meron dyan diagonal, the diagonal of a rhombus bisect the angle. Okay? So, bisect. Pag sinabing bisect, to divide certain angle or side or ano man yan into two equal parts. Therefore, itong angle 1, bisect eh, binisect ni, si angle F ni diagonal FS. So, ibig sabihin, si diagonal FS, na form niya si angle F into two equal angle. That is, uh, two equal angles so congruent. Ibig sabihin, so the measure of angle 1 is congruent to the measure of angle 2 because diagonals of a rhombus bisect the opposite angles or bisect the angles. Okay? So, if the measure of angle 1 is 42 degrees, therefore, the measure of angle 2 is also 42 degrees. So, the measure of angle 2 is 42 degrees. Okay? Next is, nakuha na natin yung sagot natin. 42 degrees ang angle 2. So, ano kaya yung angle measurement ng angle F? So, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle F. Since the measure of angle 1 is 42 degrees and also the measure of angle 2 is 42 degrees, adding the two angles, we have 84 degrees. That's the measurement of your angle F. Okay? That's number 3. Uh, this time, yung FEST natin is a square. Then, ayan, yung FS, oh, this is diagonal naman, is equal to 3x minus 4. And AT is equal to 11. Find the value of X. So, ang hinahanap natin ay value ng X. So, balikan natin ngayon yung property ng square in terms of its diagonals. 
So, ang diagonal ng square ay congruent. So, dahil congruent, ang diagonal ng square, o dito, kung ikaw, mabilis ka, fast learner ka, automatic, alam mo na na, ang FS, ang supag niya ay 11 din. Kasi congruent sila eh. Pero, ang hinahanap natin ay variable x. The val variable x. So, for the solution, we have diagonal FS is congruent to diagonal AT. Diagonal sa a square are congruent. So, we have FS is 3x minus 4 and AT is 11. Substitution lang. Then, next is combine similar terms. So, we have 3x equals 11 minus 4 magiging plus 4. Then, add natin 11 plus 4 ay 15. To get the value of x, divide both sides by 3. So, 3 x over 3 equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. Therefore, the value of x is 5. So, ito yung value ng x. Kung ang value ng x ay 5, ba? ito na nakuha mo yung sagot mo dyan. Substitute natin, tina natin kung talagang congruent si fs at saka si at. Substitute natin yung value ng x sa fs. So, 3 times 5 ay 15 minus 4 ay 11. So, the, the value of the diagonal or the measurement of the diagonal fs is also 11, same as psi at. Okay? So, that's, uh, that will be all. That's how you're going to apply the different properties of the special parallelograms. So, as long as alam ninyo yung mga properties ng ating parallelograms, kaya ninyong mag-construct ng equation to get what is being asked or kung ano yung nandun sa problem, kung ano yung hinihini sa problem. So, balik-balikan nyo lang yung ating discussion. Again, ilalagay ko sa description box yung ating prerequisite video lesson para sa lesson na ito. Okay, again, huwag kakalimutan